let's talk about the gut microbiome. This is an exciting area of research. So today I want to tell you exactly what the gut microbiome is. I figured that's a good place to start. Our microbiome is unique, like our fingerprints, and it's shaped by genetics and environmental influences, such as your mode of birth, diet, the medications you take, and well, if you've chosen to exercise. And it fluctuates throughout our lifetime. The gut microbiome begins at birth. There's some debate about what's happening in utero, but we know that it's comprised of complex communities of microorganisms, including bacteria, viruses, fungi, parasites, and more, all coming together to create your gut microbiome. You heard me right. There's beneficial bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites, and more hanging out in your gut, and we want them there. The gut microbiome consists primarily of our small and large intestines, with most of the bacteria, and I'm talking a hundred trillion or more bacteria, residing in the large intestine. We know these bacteria and the gut microbiome as a whole are important for our overall health and well being, and dysfunction is linked to many acute and chronic conditions. The microbiome plays a vital role in many functions within our body, playing a role in protecting against pathogens, productions of essential vitamins, communicating with the brain, and modulating our immune system. I'll talk more about the far reaching influences of the gut microbiome in another video, but I did want to highlight these important ones here. With so many influences in the body, you might ask yourself, so what comprises a healthy gut microbiome? Well, this has actually been really hard to define because no two gut microbiomes are identical. Still, there is a general consensus that having a stable and diverse gut community is related to a healthy intestinal state and a happy gut microbiome. When healthy, the gut microbiome consists of a diverse mixture of these beneficial microbes, and it creates a balanced relationship between the microbiome and, well, us, and it's beneficial for our health. So what exactly happens when the gut microbiome becomes dysfunctional? Gut dysfunction, or gut dysbiosis, can trigger infections and has been associated with the development of many diseases like inflammatory bowel disease, neuropsychiatric related diseases, metabolic conditions, and even some cancers. The list of diseases characterized by changes in the composition and functionality of the gut microbiome continues to grow with scientific advancements. So what defines gut dysbiosis? Well, this actually varies between disorders, but two commonalities have come out in the research, low microbiotal diversity and environmental factors such as diet, lifestyle, and the use of medications such as antibiotics. I'll go more into detail about gut dysbiosis and the tie between different conditions in future videos. Overall, we know the gut microbiome is important, but research is still needed to understand whether changes in the gut microbiome are cause, consequence, or completely unrelated to diseases, and whether restoring our gut microbiome to a healthy state can resolve these conditions. 